Foundations of Glass, Peacemaker Wars, Book 3, by J.N. Cheney, is a gripping installment in a series of science fiction novels that can continues the saga of the renegade star universe. In this book, readers reunite with the protagonist and seasoned warrior peacemaker Alphonse Robertson as he confronts new challenges and navigates the complex political landscape that has emerged from the turmoil of interstellar conflict. The story commences with Alphonse, who finds himself increasingly tangled in the intricate web of the Galactic Union's politics and the delicate balance of power that resides within. The Union is a massive conglomerate of planets and species, all striving to maintain some semblance of order after the catastrophic events that have previously unfolded. Alphonse, ever the reluctant hero, has taken up the role of a peacekeeper, maneuvering through this fragile environment in which allegiances are questionable and the threat of war is ever-present. With the tension among various species and factions mounting, Alphonse is tasked with a critical diplomatic mission. The mission is nothing short of a perilous journey to broker peace and forge new alliances to prevent an all-out galactic war. Each encounter presents the protagonist with moral dilemmas and forces him to make choices that have far-reaching implications. Through his unwavering commitment to his ideals and his acute sense of justice, Alphonse becomes a linchpin in negotiations that could either lead to harmony or plunge the galaxy back into chaos. As Alphonse delves deeper into the complexities of his assignment, it becomes apparent that there are hidden forces at play with their own often conflicting, agendas. The remnants of the archetype, a now defunct and tyrannical regime, still linger and threaten to disrupt the peace process. There are also emerging factions that view the current state of affairs as an opportunity to seize control and expand their influence. Alphonse navigates these treacherous waters with the aid of old friends and allies, relying on their skills and connections to advance the cause of peace. Throughout the narrative, Alphonse is not only a soldier and diplomat, but also a figure burdened with the weight of his past. Haunted by previous battles and the loss of comrades, he must find the strength within himself to persevere and inspire those around him to strive for a future where war is not inevitable. The inner turmoil of Alphonse is mirrored by the external conflict, bringing a depth to the character that resonates with the reader. In this third book, we see Alphonse's character evolve. He begins to accept his role not just as a man of action, but also as a symbol of hope for many who look to him for guidance. His journey is as much an internal one as it is a galactic struggle, and he finds himself questioning the nature of his mission and the cost of peace. It is this personal growth set against the backdrop of a universe on the brink of war that provides the foundation for the dramatic tension driving the book's narrative. The world-building in Foundations of Glass continues to be a standout feature of Cheney's storytelling. The universe is rich with detail, from the technical aspects of space travel and combat to the vivid depictions of alien cultures and environments. Each species is carefully crafted with unique customs and political structures that add to the story's complexity. The intricacies of interstellar governance and the fragile alliances peppered throughout the plot underscore the precariousness of peace within this diverse and often divided galaxy. As the story progresses, Alphonse and his crew engage in a series of missions and battles that test their abilities and resolve. The action sequences are well-crafted, combining tactical space conflicts with ground combat, and they serve to advance the plot while highlighting the skills of each team member. In typical Cheney fashion, the combat is intense and visceral, evoking the chaos and unpredictability of war. The supporting cast of characters is as varied as the universe itself, each with their own history and motivations. These characters grow alongside Alphonse, facing their own demons and contributing to the overarching mission in their unique ways. Loyalties are tested and relationships are pushed to their limits as the crew grapples with betrayal, sacrifice, and the common goal of a lasting peace. As the story rushes towards its climax, the web of political intrigue begins to unravel, revealing the true antagonists and the scope of their ambitions. Alphonse and his crew find themselves embroiled in a final confrontation that will determine the fate of the galaxy. The stakes are high, and the outcome uncertain, 
as they fight to prevent the resurgence of tyranny and the erosion of the fragile peace they have fought so hard to achieve. In the end, Foundations of Glass delivers a powerful conclusion to the Peacemaker Wars trilogy, laden with themes of loyalty, sacrifice, and the pursuit of peace amidst the chaos of conflict. Alphonse Robertson's story is one of a man who becomes a beacon of hope, not through his desire for power or glory, but through his unwavering dedication to a cause greater than himself, J.N. Cheney has crafted a compelling tale that weaves together the thrills of space opera with the intricate plotting of political intrigue. Foundations of Glass embraces the complexities of its characters and their world, while never losing sight of the human element at the core of its narrative. With its blend of action, emotion, and rich storytelling, this novel stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of the renegade star universe and the storytelling prowess of its author. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.